it's hard to narrow it down to just one. Um, you know, the two biggest things that, that I can say are the, the staffing crisis that we're in and affordable housing, the lack of inventory that we have and the abundant need for multiple groups of people across the state. Well, I think a lot of uncertainty um, in uh, with, with the coronavirus and whether it's a safe environment for them to work or you know, are they going to be required to get a vaccine and some of them are opposed to. So I think this really COVID is a big um, still hanging over a lot of people's heads and the uncertainty that comes along with it. Well, there's definitely a, a talent shortage uh, that was kind of starting to occur prior to COVID, uh, but that seems to be really accelerated now as we look forward. We're, we're having trouble uh, in our industry uh, finding talent. We're worried about finding talent moving forward, and, and you hear it everything from the, the, the uh, wait staff at restaurants to McDonald's to professional services. So uh, we're very concerned about that moving forward. Uh, labor and training and by that I mean training folks to be able to do cross training whether it's retail or restaurants so that they can work in hospitality. So what would you say is the biggest issue facing the workforce right now? I think the biggest issue uh, in the workforce now is equality. The biggest issue facing the workforce in Michigan is family sustainable livable wage jobs. Worker retention. You now, with the workforce changing, we need to figure out working conditions that are going to empower people to want to be in their jobs long term. What do you think is the biggest issue facing the workforce right now? Uh, wages and wage parity. Uh, new technologies in the digital economy has really uh, created a need for better education in the workforce, making sure that the workforce is educated uh, on these new technologies so that they can meet the needs. Hiring and retaining a diverse workforce is the biggest issue right now. It is still the pandemic and how we address whether to mandate vaccines, mandate testing, and mandate uh, masking. COVID-19. And I think until we, you know, systematically deal with COVID-19 in the city of Detroit in a comprehensive way, that is going to continue to be uh, our Achilles heel until, uh, until we get it under control. So the biggest issue that we're talking about here at the Mackinac Policy Conference, but we see every day, is talent. We have very skilled talent with great experience here, but we have to make sure that they are ready for the opportunities in the future. Well, from a venture capital standpoint, there are wonderful entrepreneurs that, that, that need funding. Uh, for for the startup community and, and so yeah definitely talent talent is, is a big issue here funding in the state is here um, is, is needed here and I think that that's where we're going to be hopefully successful for any kind of economic growth in the future would you agree yeah and I think it, it really is tied together right we have a yeah. history and a culture of supporting entrepreneurship and being entrepreneurs that's in our DNA. So if we can put all the pieces together to support that growth here, you know, the small companies just grow. And every job is important to the person who has it. So we don't mind talking to them when they're small. Um, economic development, small business development. And I'm excited to hear Richard Florida talk about his theory and creative class, which I think is awesome for Detroit and how that's helped grow Detroit.